is how I made this artist studio sign for my outside, my door outside, and I wanted to share it with you. Now through this whole video and project, I have only used the Deco Arts patio paints, which they're for outdoor and they are luscious and beautiful as you will see. I will put a list of the colors I used in the description below. So stay tuned if you want to see how I did it. Well, hello everyone. Um, I wanted to do this little uh, plaque for outside my door uh, now that I have an outside door to my studio. And I found, well, I found this actually. I must have painted this for some reason. I was going to do something with it. I don't remember what. It was a few years ago. And so I thought, well, I'm going to use it now. So I'm going to use some of my outside paint. Uh, it's called patio paint and it's by deco art and I've been dying to use it and I actually am looking to get some uh, clay pots because I used to do that too I used to do paint on clay pots which is like so much fun and um, so I have to get myself some of them in Arizona you know we have them all over the place so um, it's really easy to find them but now here in Florida, I haven't seen any stores specifically, you know, for clay pots. So I will find, I'm going to open this paint, and I think I'm going to paint it with the terracotta. So it seems like I have all these cool colors, but um, I'm going to start it with the terracotta. And then I'll do, uh, once it dries, I'll go on top of it and paint, maybe stencil. Um, and then it has an outdoor clear coat that you use over transparent so that'll be nice to try in my hands I'm sorry I got ink all over myself and made a mess so I am going to just pour some paint see how this works and I'm just going to use a little sponge sponge brush and I don't know how many coats it's going to take to go over. Hmm. I don't know what that noise was that I just heard. So what I've been doing today is actually going through boxes and, oh, I found so many things that I had, you know, put away that a lot of glass that I had worked on years ago. Uh, nice little tiles and stuff that I had made with uh, some of my artwork in it and then some, you know, digital art that I had bought. And uh, when I get this room at least somewhat prettied up, I will let you see some progress. I'm just trying to get things laid out and, you know, paint the, the plain doors and stuff and trying to spruce it up but you know we have other other things that we have to do too you know if you're in any groups and things you got to get stuff done and I'm working on my gyps the gypsy and the witch project and also uh, I'm going to be doing a big-eyed girl princess actually project with um, quite a few artists I don't have the list in front of me so I don't want to start naming some people because I don't know all of them offhand and that should be out in January this month and then I have to get my workshops out on the 4th for the year-long journey uh, come play with me, which is like so much fun. If anybody is interested in doing a year-long journaling journey, that one is really fun. It's fun for me, and it seems to have been lots of fun for all my student artists, and they're doing such a great job. So, okay, so this may this may take a couple of coats because you can still see the blue. So I'm going to let that dry and then I'll come back and do another coat. In the meantime, I'm going to think, do I want to do freehand? Because I want to write 
art studio on it because I want to hang this outside so um, I don't know if I should put Rita Marie art studio or just art studio or I don't know I'll just have to think about it how I want to word it and and if I want to just write it freehand or do I want to stencil the letters on um, you know how neat do I want it to be how crazy do I want it to be but you know I love terracotta so that's going to be a great great background so let me let this dry and then I'll be right back okay so I've got two coats down on this and um, it's working really well now I found this this is a deco art also uh, a stencil they have really cool stencils and I'm going to be using the patio paint by deco art also again which is the outside paint and this one is blue Bahama mmm and I'm using a sponge. I can't find my dabber, so I'm just going to use a little spongy brush here. And hopefully it will not make a mess. So this is all outside paint. Then they have, you know, stuff to coat it with. So we have a lot of, you know, humidity here. And see, I'm close to the ocean, so we get a lot of that sal salty air. So things seem to, you know, deteriorate really fast. Such as Arizona, when we lived there, it was very hot and intense. So the heat there, you know, if you didn't get things that were made for the heat intensity there, then they kind of burned away. So... Oh, that's really pretty. So I'll let that dry and then I'll do more over here of the same stencil. It doesn't have to be perfect. I mean, I'm going to it can overlap and thing cuz I'm going to still do more over this. So, but I just wanted something to kind of start it off. So, let that dry and I'll be right back. Okay, you can see that I put some pink hearts on here. Let me get this out of here. And um just my bucket of water. I put some pink hearts with a stencil, one of my little stencils, and now I'm going to put some more hearts on here. But I'm going to use, and now I used for that, for the pink, I used uh, fuchsia. Fuchsia. Now I'm going to use hollyberry red for these hearts. So I just really want to really bright red so it's pretty red and then they also have geranium red which I may put in later Okay, so let's get this going. What's gonna and it wouldn't be me without the black and white kind of check thing or at least black checks. I mean, come on. Or diamonds, whatever these things are. I like har harlequin things. So put that in. Make sure that this is Follow me cord. I'm going to go 
stretch my cord out and go get a clean sponge. Okay, I'm going to hold this and hopefully I won't screw it up. I don't want to cover the whole thing um, with the diamonds, harlequins, whatever you want to call them. But I'm going to wind up going over some of what I did, but that's okay, you know. That's me. I like doing that. We want to be predictable, right? We gotta be out of the box. Otherwise, it's no fun. Okay. Well, let's just take a peek. I know, sometimes it gets out of control. Okay, that's good. It's good. Gives me my black insert that I love. Stuff. And that's starting to look good. And... I'm going to let that dry. I'm not going to mess with that, so let's let that dry. You'll see in the next clip I'll be talking about the letters, but there's also a layer of stenciled flowers that I lost the footage for. So just to let you know, I did do, I did tape it, but I lost it. So some bluish green flowers went on, and that's what you're going to see. Okay, you can see that I found these letters and I'm going to paint them. Artist Studio kind of got moved around. But um, that gives you an idea. I think that's that's what I'm going to do as far as the lettering, you know, the words. Instead of stenciling them on, I think I'm just going to paint these and then put them on. But I'm not actually done with the background. So, you know, I want to add more color to this. We got the yellow in there, and um, I think I need more pink and um, more pink and some more teal kind of colors going in there. Oops, sorry, left the door open. Um, so I am going to stencil something on there with those colors and you know see see what I get maybe I'll even use the same stencils I don't knew and just over um hmm actually actually I forgot about that one um I may go over that again or Hmm, you know, I really got to get some, some small stencils. You know, I have all these large ones. And they're, they're great, but I don't like working with the small ones better. Okay, here's one. Here's one. This is an old one. But that one kind of is pretty because it's got all those flowers on it. And, um, let's see. You know, have some going off the page and that kind of thing. So I think I'm going to start with the pink. And this is um, the fuchsia. I'm used, still using the patio paint by Deco Art, which is turning out to be just wonderful. And um, really totally enjoying this paint. So let's get that. I'm going to get myself a. Oh, 
think I found I did I found my dabber I found my dabbers I've got to get more I've got to go online and order more from decor these were so cool okay so let's just get some pink in here because I'm really liking this pink and you know I really like pinks and purples I like them all you know I like all the colors Could you not? Okay, so that's kind of going off the. I can always paint over them, but at least you got, you know, the the base down. Um, just a pink up here too. And I, you know, I'm not going to take this off because I'm going to go to the, another color, but I am. Not going to take the stencil off. Oops. I'm going to put some of that. Oh no, this isn't the patio. Sorry, I almost picked up the pad, the wrong thing. Okay, this one is what I want. Blue Bahama. Blue Bahama. And I'm going to mix in some. Apple green. Oh, gotta mix. You gotta really shake these up too, these patio paints. Okay. And let's just see how this goes. I don't totally want to go over what I done in the back there, but I do want to brighten it up a little bit. some of the this one is honeydew honeydew so it's a little lighter that over the the other colors I'm just playing with this I mean I'm not really worrying about really how this comes out because it's just kind of fun let me just see what other color do I want to put in there well I do I'm going to put some hollyberry red with the pink there just dab it in a little bit well, and then maybe let me just go get a little bit of yellow Okay, I'm going to add in some marigold. I just got, I got, oops. didn't mean to do that. 
I hope you're finding this video inspirational and if you do and you like this uh, video please give me a thumbs up and subscribe because I love making videos and the only way I know that you are enjoying them is if you give me a thumbs up leave me a comment subscribe you inspire me to make more I know it seems like I'm going over everything I did already, but it, you're not really because some of that background still comes through. And if you hadn't done all these layers, then the final look wouldn't be the same. So don't be afraid to go over, do layer on top of layer. Okay, let's see what it looks like when I lift this up. And oh, it looks lovely. It looks so bohemian, gypsy-ish, everything I like, all the colors that I love. So I'm so happy with this. And if it wasn't for all the layers, it would not look this way. But the final layer really made the other layers just pop. So I am so happy and I love this stencil. It's old and I use it all the time. Okay, you can see that I have like a million paints out, sorry. And I did the words for, for the sign, sorry. And this is what I did around the edge you know I love black and white so I did the black and white um, around the edge there and then I'm going to now put these on here I want to see how they kind of let me stand here so I can get this I wanted it to be kind of funky so I know you can't really see them I'd have to put like a white Thing, and I don't really want to I want them like this kind of blending but I don't want to start covering up the flowers or anything like that I think I could have made them all black and white and they probably would have stood out better but I, I really wanted some color to keep the color flow so that's where I am right now with this and then I'll glue them down and then I will coat it with there's a coating for the um, clear coat to use for the outside patio paint so I'm going to do that and I probably will use this paint on the outside of the door too since it's outside paint I can you know use like an exterior paint to coat the door and then you know to use for the flowers and stencils and stuff use the patio paint and then coat that so I think it's looking cool and I had so much fun doing this and I'll tell you these deco art paints are just really thrilling me um, the way they work and everything they're just it's just fabulous I mean look at that how beautiful the colors are for the you know it's just really beautiful and I'm so happy with this sign so the next step is to glue it together and be done and then when I get the door done I wanted to get my sign done so this way I could figure out what I needed to do with the outside door if I want to do it really busy with lots of flowers and lot, or do I want to do it just simple maybe just black and white and then have that sign on it so that that's you know what I'm thinking of right now so but I wanted to share with you the sign that I made and um, just a lot of fun. I mean, I could put other things on it, but I don't know if they will stay out, you know, or stay on. You know, I don't know if the glue will hold them on because I really wanted to put some jewels and some tiles and stuff. But I think I'm going to just leave it the way it is. And then maybe down the road, if I think I want to try attempt it, maybe I will. But. I thank you so much for being here, and I hope you enjoyed. I hope I gave you some inspiration, some ideas, and, uh, you know, play with your paints. And definitely try these if you're going to do any outside painting. Try these um, deco art 
paints. I mean, they're, the colors are gorgeous. I mean, they're just really beautiful, these patio outdoor paints. I mean, just, they have, like, every be more beautiful colors than I've ever imagined that would be for the outside paint. So, enjoy yourselves, and, you know, have fun, and um, if, you in, in, if I inspired you, please give me a thumbs up, and subscribe, and I hope I see you again soon, and uh, I love you guys, so thank you again for being here. Until the next time, bye-bye. I sure hope you enjoyed this little video and I hope I have inspired you to make a sign for yourself whether you hang it on an exterior door an interior door a wall just on a make a little plaque for yourself and let it say that you are an artist and this is your studio and you give yourself credibility and I think that makes you feel like real proud of yourself and just keep creating and have fun. And if you can, create every day. Thank you.